This week in your weekly upgrade, we focus this whole episode to Google Classroom features. So let's get rich with text when you want to go streaming. I also notify you notifying me and I just wanted to give you a notification that I notify you too. When we give you a heads up about one key folder in your Google Drive, it's Google Classroom. I'm Jordan R and this is your weekly upgrade. Well, because we've gone virtual, not by choice of course, we know many of you are using Google Classroom with your Google Meet class. Meet, not Meet. So I thought it would be ideal to have our virtual training team share each of the three key topics for today. So take it away, Nancy. Thanks, Jordan. Hi, everyone. If you haven't noticed yet, we now have rich text available in Google Classroom. Finally. Now you can spruce up any old boring announcement or assignment description in Google Classroom to grab your students' attention. Once you're in your classroom, you can either go to Assignments under Classwork or to your Announcements under Stream. There you will see your four options that you can use. There is the bold, the italicizing, the underlining, and the bullet points. Or even use all four for bigger impact. Once you are done, you can go ahead and post it to your classroom. And when the students go into your classroom, they will be able to see the rich text that you used. So go ahead and give it a try. I promise you'll love it. Thank you, Nancy. Well, are you ready to be notified? Chelsea, the screen is yours. Hello, CDSB. Today I'm going to show you how you can avoid the avalanche of Google Classroom notifications. If you've been using Classroom for any length of time, you know that it will automatically send you a lot of email notifications. If you're not careful and if you don't adjust these notifications, you may simply end up ignoring them as they become overwhelming. Believe it or not, these notifications are meant to be helpful and to bring your attention to important activity going on within your classrooms. I'm going to show you how you can choose exactly which types of email notifications you wish to receive. Starting from your classroom homepage, click on the three vertical lines in the top left corner and scroll down to settings. Here you will see all the options you have to customize which email notifications you wish to receive. Starting from comments, classes you're enrolled in, classes you teach, and class notifications where you can turn email and mobile notifications on or off by specific classes. Sending it back over to you, Jordan. Thanks, Chelsea. And now an important update from our very own Marco. Thanks, Jordan. Change of ambience, please. Every morning, teachers wake up. They know they must create an engaging assignment in Google Classroom. And every morning, students also wake up. We hope. It does not matter whether you're a teacher or a student in this virtual world, but when the sums comes up, you better be opening Google Classroom. Every time we create a class, Google generates a folder in your drive. You can easily verify that by opening your drive and searching for a folder called Classroom. If you open it inside, you should see all the classes you have created or you're part of. These are the folders where you can find all the assignments and the work posted in your Google Classroom. We highly recommend not to rename or move any of those folders and documents since this can cause major issues when trying to copy a classroom or use an assignment. This classroom folder is already organized by each of your classes you have created, so there's no need to adjust anything unless you desire chaos. The choice is yours. Uh, now, now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur core, right? Now, back to you, Jordan. Well, thank you, Marco. Well, that's it for today's weekly upgrade. As usual, we have our office hours. We love it when you like or subscribe or share this YouTube channel. Also, Keep on going. No matter the situation we're in, we're stronger together. Just to give you a highlight of what's happening here at my house, we have not one, not two, but three, four, five kids here all doing virtual school and managing the best we can. It's a crazy life, but it's our life. I hope you have a great day and never stop being so awesome.